So I've had a little while to use the Sony ZV-1 and like any other camera it has some shortcomings. Hi I'm Arnie and this is Arnie Jacobson TV. Here we talk travel, we talk cameras, and we talk accessories. If you're into any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button, click the bell icon so you won't miss anything, and make sure to check the show notes for any further details. Every camera has a shortcoming of some kind. For the ZV-1, one of them is when you put a tripod or a grip of some kind on it, you can't get into the battery bay or the uh, memory card slot without taking off whatever it is that you have, whether it be this handle or a tripod. That is a serious, well, not serious, but it's a, it's a drag. What are you going to do? Well, today we're going to do a quick little, not even, can't even call it an unboxing. The small rig has come up with a cage for the ZV-1. They also have, uh, I guess you'd call it an L bracket. That's what I went with. I thought the cage might be a little bit too big, so I decided I'd give the L bracket a, a try. I wanted to see if it would solve that issue. And it looks like it will. So there is the unit itself. Nice, compact, looks great. And look at that. Nice little wooden handle. I just love that. I have had um, small rig uh, cages on some of my other Sony cameras and it's just it feels so nice. Let's put this on real quickly and see how this goes. Slide it on. Oops. I guess it probably ought to take out the small rig wraps everything in its own separate little plastic bag. Okay. So we're going to take this and put it on here. This is such a quick video. I didn't bother setting up an overhead camera. We're just going to slap that in there. Has the screw already mounted. You don't have to put it in there. Hex on one end. Goes right into the quarter 20. Boom, just like that. Does that look nice or what? And the reason I went with this particular iteration of a cage is because it was small. It didn't add to the uh, size, didn't add any bulk to it. Very cool. Now, the main thing is, can you still open the door? And obviously, the answer to that is yes. So that problem is solved. I can put on the um, tripod or whatever. Now I have to put in a little, there we go, just like that. Boom. And I can still get in there to open that up. For a minor investment, problem solved. There are also... A, all kinds of quarter 20 mounting spots all along. There's a little place if you want to put a, a wrist strap here. There's a cold shoe mount on the bottom. Very, it's, it, it, oh, and there's another um, place to put a, a strap or what have you up here as well. So, that's kind of nice. I didn't realize that before. So if you're looking for the ZV-1, 
and you were concerned about that, worry not. Solved. I wish they would have figured that out on their own, but not have to go out and spend another, I think it was, if I remember right, 24 bucks for that little guy. Feels good. I like it because my my Goliath hands, it gives me just a little bit more to grab on to. Hey, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And it does help out the channel. So thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.